This is the wave bonus video. I'm going to show you that you can do different types of wave units. Now this unit we've already covered, but I just wanted to do a small recap on the steps one more time. Now just a note, you can apply these very techniques to any wave unit technique, okay? You can apply these once again to any wave unit technique. And just for a recap as well, I like to pull this hair slightly when I'm doing the unit. I just like to pull it just a little bit. Alright, so I want you guys to keep that in mind. Of course, you want to keep them in sync, but I kind of pull just a little bit. I stretch each strand out with this unit. So keep that in mind just for recap purposes. Kind of slightly pull as you can see me doing right there. I have a certain look I like to go for with my units. I want you guys to have the same mindset. Visualize it. Know what you're doing. Control the hair. Make sure you control the hair. Get that pattern just like that. How you see me. How you see me having it. That's how you want it as well. But this is just a small recap of what we've already covered. The application is pretty much complete and when you cut it down you cut it down to the length that the client wants I recommend to go pretty low with these because that allows for a natural appearance the longer you leave these the unrealistic the more unrealistic it tends to look in my opinion I see some wave units and I see they're just entirely too long and I'm looking at the hair pattern. I'm not even looking at the at the waves that it's supposed to be. But I say my recommendation would be to cut it pretty low. Free hand, no guards. Always remember. And here's the finished look. Completely new man. Okay, so now let's get into the loose wave hair unit. This is the hair that I use, all right? I've only been able to find it in the color two. I haven't been able to find it in one B. But this is designed for those individuals who may have that biracial hair type, just have a really loose hair pattern, more straighter hair. And you see you apply it pretty much the same way. Now, I don't stretch this hair though, like I do the original wave unit. I just apply this one the way it is, the way it comes, out the package. And you can see one strand is on. We're about to apply the other strand. And yes, gently spread the hair. Spread it just a little bit. You want it to look realistic. This hair is, is thick. So you can definitely spread it just a little bit. Always making sure that the strands are in sync with each other. You want it to look as realistic as possible. Pretty much just matching it. Syncing the waves in together. Just matching it. That's all you're doing. Just like other technique but the thing is just like as the caption stated his hair texture is different now he only had about a week of hair growth everybody's different I can work with generally a week and a half to two weeks of growth but it depends on the person's growth the hair grows faster some people may just need a week of growth and you can work with them 
this case, he has more of a straighter hair texture. So this unit matches his natural hair texture better than the regular baby unit. And I'll show you another example in the next section of this same individual with a different unit. Just to give you guys a really good visual so you can see how to really analyze hair texture and not just give everybody the same way. I see that and it just doesn't work well for me. But the beauty of this unit, you only need about four to six strands and you're done. As you can see, that's just about four strands and the head is pretty much almost covered. See me spreading it a little bit. Once again, compressing down, always compressing down, but these are the same techniques from the original wave unit that I've applied and I've just managed to use different hair texture for different hair types. Apply my last strand. As you can see, it took five strands for this particular individual. I'm always compressing down. Same methods applied. Put your do rag on for a few minutes. You remove it, and then you cut it down freehand, as you see me doing right there. Cutting the unit down freehand. Nothing special. Same principles. Cutting it down gently. You don't want to dig in too deep. With this hair, you can't be as aggressive as you can with the free trees hair. The free trees hair. The free trees hair. Excuse me. Gives you little more leeway you can be a little more rough with it it's definitely more coarse but with this you got to be more gentle you just can't just dig your clippers into it you got to be gentle very gentle but after you get the hang of it you get nothing to you as you can see we got the look we're going for just edge it up. Apply the enhancements the same way you would on the original unit, on the original wave unit. The only difference is on the straight hair, when it's, when it's more of a loose wave like this, I really don't use much hair illusions. I use more of the strand maximizer fibers or the hair infinity fibers. And then I pat the head down. I pat it down once I apply the fibers and that's it all right so keep that tip in mind that's gonna give it more of a straighter look like this not more kinky like the hair illusions you can see his results it's completely natural he loved it on to the next bonus now this is the same individual and i use this kinky marley hair this is a soft wave unit. all right you can't get this in one beat this is a soft wave unit. I have some good results with this. As you can see, the same principle. Now, he could have got away with this unit as well. This unit did look really good on him. But I personally feel like the loose wave unit fit his hair texture way better. But this hair is like in between coarse and soft. So, kind of judge and gauge your clients according to their hair type use appropriate hair. But as you can see, the same principles. Same principles, exactly. You're applying the hair the exact same way. There's nothing different. Nothing different at all. You're just applying a different hair. That's all. But I will say this. The free trees in my opinion the free trees hair from the original wave unit in my opinion 
is a little more secure than the wrist just because it's it's not as soft so being that it's more coarse it's going to be more secure it's going to definitely be more secure so it just depends on the client because I've done the soft wave on the client and they made it last for about three or four weeks but other clients they're hard on units and they don't know how to maintain themselves how to maintain the unit and it may not last as long as on them so it just depends on the person but this one loose wave I got techniques to help you make it last though once you use your holding sprays it may look soft but it's really hard to the touch so those holding sprays are key Make sure you use those. Get mine at G14 at Polish Barbershop. Some really good products. But feel free to try your own products out. Let me know. You may have something good that you like to use. Definitely, uh, those will definitely help extend the style and look. But as you see me now, I'm using the do rag, putting some pressure on the on the head. Remember, never rub, always pat, and always have your clients remove the do-rag from any wave unit. I don't care what unit they have, really. This is the same way they need to do it. Move it that way. Because if you move it from the front to back, you can risk some strands popping up, some loose strands. You don't want to have that happen. But then you just cut down once again freehand. Gently get into it. Whatever method that you're comfortable with. I always like to work from the right side to the left side of the client. It's my comfort zone, so for me that's how I always work. But whatever way you like to work, whatever way you're comfortable, you're good. Take your time with these units. I just want to show you guys some different variations because you don't not, you do not have to do one wave unit one way every time. You do not have to do that. If you see a person has a straighter, straighter type of hair texture, put a loose wave on or a soft wave on. The free trees hair doesn't work for everybody. But as you can see, he's already starting to blend. And that's the look what that we did when we cut it down. So I finished cutting it down just to give you that. But just like the caption red, the enhancements have been applied. And there you have it. So there's the difference I'm about to show you now from the loose wave. So here's the soft wave. Looks good, but the loose wave, in my opinion, looks better. It looks more natural. It looks like his hair type. So I want you guys to continue to practice. Do your best. We've covered three different wave units, guys. You have the keys to the game.